Don't you love it when you order a part, pay for it in advance, wait six weeks for the part to come in, get the unit all apart to replace the part only to find out that the parts department has screwed you and they've sent you the wrong part. This one's a microwave fail because the parts department messed up. Today I have an old Quasar. This is a convection microwave. This thing dates back a few years. As you can see, 1987. July 1987 is when this one was made. Very old unit. The fault on this one it needs a new magnetron and we're going to change out the high voltage diode. So let's uh, get to it. Now, a client brought me this unit. He said it wasn't heating properly and he wanted the magnetron. He actually wanted me to change the magnetron capacitor and everything else. I said, well, usually it's a magnetron and we probably should change out the stack dial up because they quite often uh, give us trouble. So I contacted the parts department, ordered some parts in. Um, we waited about six weeks. Customer took it home to use it. And now he's returned tonight to change out the uh, magnetron and stack two dial. Screws, two screws on either side plus four in the back. The cover just lifts off on these ones quite easily. Now I know the guy that owns this and this is one of the rare instances where I'm actually going to let the owner of the unit be here. So you're going to hear me talking to him while we're going through changing the transformer. I'm getting it prepped. the magnetron and the, the stack diode that are going to get changed on this one. I already know what the fault is on this because it's been checked out before. The parts had to be ordered so the parts were ordered in. Got new parts here. But it was just taking an awful long time to heat. Doesn't heat at all now. So we're gonna get at to changing these parts. Pretty straightforward. They're just held in place by a couple bolts and a couple connections. Pretty straightforward to change out a magnetron on one of these units. It's the waveguide on this thing. The wave oh, they're right there. Yeah. Well, waveguide. Well, that's no. That's that's. That's just for uh, cooling. The, oh. the fan blows air through the through the fins. Oh right? yeah, right. Right on the uh, yeah, gotcha. You know, on the magnetron, and and then it dumps the air into the cavity, which which blows the air across the cavity. And on there's a this is a temperature sensor. So there's a temperature sensor here that's for the convection. Yeah. And on the back side over here, there's a humidity sensor. That's for the see that's the humidity oh, yeah. sensor down there. So that's for the genius functions. I got you. So what we have to do on this to change is I have to take out the, I have to remove the thermal shutdown. This is a, a temperature mm -hmm. uh, sensor, so that if it what is what, it just a thermistor? It is. It, well, no, it's a it's a it's a thermostat switch. Oh, okay. So if the fan were to fail and mm -hmm. the magnetron were to overheat, right, this would that cut would the cut power off, off right? Yeah. So we got to take that off first. So I gather you've rebuilt a couple of these before, right? Oh, we used to do hundreds of them. <laughs> hundreds and hundreds of them. When I was working down at the shop. Because we did a lot of Panasonic rigs. We, oh, is that right? Well, well I think this is a Panasonic, isn't it? Uh, it's a, a Quasar, same thing. Mm. So let's get that switch out of there. And then there's... Take off the should point out that the customer that owns this, I've known him for about 30 years, so he used to come into the shop and he used to actually look after all of our computers and stuff in the shop and uh, I've looked after his equipment for years, so he's doing some work at his house and he Price asked me if I could take a look at this for him. Yeah, and that's just for the fan, for mm -hmm. the uh, but you would have uh, You would have figured that over the last 25 years or so that would have gone. It, yeah, it hasn't. It's uh, still in good shape. Okay, that's a quarter inch. That belt on top that we're talking about, that's for the stir fan for the convection oven to blow hot air around. Because this is a convection unit as well as a microwave. You can see the heating element at the top there. Pretty hefty bar supply in there, huh? That? Mm -hmm. That's such a little one compared to. Well, I mean, from from the standpoint of uh, of being iron core, probably, right? Yeah, yeah, it is. I mean, it's 
600 or 700 watts. Is what this one is, right? So. First, so I was looking at the box uh, that that thing came in, and that's an act actually it's it's not an original part; it's a replica. What the magnetron? Mm -hmm. It's not a Panasonic one, that's for sure. Yeah, and the box specifically said something about it being... This one? Yeah, if you read the... Exact replacement parts. Exact replacement parts, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, seven, seven to eight hundred watts. At least they make it fairly serviceable. These were, yeah, I mean... Whose camera is that? It's a Sony. It's a Sony, yeah. It's a little 4K. Nice. I only am shooting it in 1080, so I don't really shoot these things in 1080. Oh, yeah. uh, 4K just takes up too much bandwidth and too much time to edit. Mm. Too much time to render. Like, I don't get a... Like I don't, I can't put my monitor on if I'm on 4K. It it cut out. Yeah, it won't support it. Yeah, well, no, the the camera won't output video if, when you're recording in 4K. It'll shut it off. Mm. So I can still see it on the little screen here, but mm. uh, I'm not looking at that. So this is the old one. It's out of there. And this one here, I'll just check to make sure that they are the same. Over here, yeah, yeah filament and filament anode, same same configuration. Okay. And our, our holes are the same, so it's identical. So there's the old one. And wait a second, not the same. They're different. It's 90 degrees. Mm -hmm. They shipped the wrong bloody. They shipped the wrong magnetron. Yeah. So I have an old magnetron here Main that uh, came out of one of my old. Mic microwaves that I scrapped. Let's try my that's magnetron. An that's an LG one. An now this one that's going in now, I know nothing about its condition. When the microwave so failed, a, the problem that it had was the yeah, the uh, relay shorted and the power this stayed on without on. the fan running okay. until it overheated and kicked the thermal shut off. So I don't know the condition of the magnetron that I'm putting in. We'll find out pretty quick whether it's any good. Yep. Where does that come from? Do you know? I don't know where they get them from. What is it? What is the what is the parts guy's name? Do you know what his name is? Um, I have it on my phone. I think when he left me a message, but uh, and he phoned me today as well, and I and then he I, and then I said, well, I said I've get the guy to pick it up mm. and he said what was your number and I told him was, oh wait a minute yeah that was already picked up yeah, they are a bit different physically okay I just I just ordered it by the model number yeah yeah you know, when you, mean, phone you can it, see when the size difference right yeah when you phone in they say we can't help you unless you have a model number it's like, it's not like the good old days where you could, like, you know, main electronics was around, they could phone up and say, hey, I need a 2M226. Yeah, mm. no problem. Here it is. Mm. You know, I need a TM210. I think the 210 was the original one. That's the original, right? Mm. 2M210, is it? Yeah. Uh, 2M204. 204. Oh, those are obsolete. I got 2M4 dash M1. And this is a 2M229J, the replacement. Mm -hmm. Here's one here. 
for the uh, cover. Cover? Right there. No, I'm looking for the, the other bit. Here it is. Well, if I, if I can get the thing running at least, and then we can wait until we get the right part. This is a, this is interesting. Did you see what is on the side here? What? You see it? On, on the black ring, you see it? It's the magnet, yeah. So there's some sort of metal you got loose somewhere and there's... Something stuck to it. Yeah. Oh, it is a magnet. That's why they call them a magnetron. Yes, of course. It's got the word magnet in it. The diode is probably shot. Oh, well, that wasn't even clipped into anything. What the heck? That was just shoved in there. A diode shorted. That diode is shot. It's a good thing you got a new one. What would make it go? Uh, magnetron short, maybe. Mm. Here's what kills them. anything you know with these guys you know just want to make sure that the anode and yes the cathode is in the right oh, place it's, it's going to be the going to be the right way i'm sure but that's weird that that didn't have a plug to plug into it. it's like what's it stuck on it's kind of like it's just stuck between them like that normally would have a lug that it's on but it's, it's not that's weird that should be attached to that wire Set the clock first, right? Yeah, you have to set the clock, otherwise it'll do absolutely nothing. Clock, okay. Yeah, put any number in there, doesn't matter. Yeah, and just hit power. Yeah. What a minute. And then start. What was that that sparked? Yeah, it's going, see? Yeah, it's like a high voltage. It was weird. Okay. Where did it spark? It sparked down there, didn't it? Down there, I saw. Down there. It almost looked like underneath, behind the transformer. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, let's see if we got juice getting into the transformer. I bet you the transformer doesn't have any power getting to it now. Well, if you're wondering where that spark volts. came from, I think it actually came out of the magnetron itself. We just saw the reflection in behind the transformer, but I think that spark was the magnetron. That magnetron is no good. This is the, the unknown one that I had just kicking around. And this one's no good. 
and I you know saw that spark I couldn't figure out where it was coming from so I'm, I'm checking everything to see whether there's any indication that anything is arc but I do have high voltage which I will demonstrate momentarily we got lots of high voltage from the transformer let's see if the transformer is going to work so power on transformers working transformers working fine so we'll try a different capacitor on this unit um, clock. power let's see whether we get any sparks So what I'm going to do, because this one's not heating, this is a dead magnetron. I'm going to go and put the original magnetron back on and we'll see whether we get any heat with the new stack dial. How long did you put it on? A minute? One minute. So we'll just try this original magnetron back in this thing again with the new diode. See if we get any heat. I hear it. I hear it buzzing. It'll heat. Yeah, because it's, it, it, I heard it. Come on. I heard. Do you hear the microphone? Yeah, I heard it. Yeah, it. Um, it's not making that noise anymore. It, oh, it was the diode that was shot. But my my used one here. This has obviously got a problem. This one. But it, they you know they shipped the wrong. It, you should be able to use it like this until we get the right. Until you get the right magnetron, we'll have to go through this again. But it'll heat. This is this is not a YouTube video you want to put out. <laughs> Troubleshooting? No, Troubleshooting? No, 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 no. What, yeah. getting the wrong parts? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, it's hot. It's warm. You know, it's, I mean, one minute, it's, uh... Yeah. It's, you know, so, so we got to... I'm going to throw that one out. That, obviously, that one's nobody good. Um, I guess it's back to the parts store. <laughs> Say, give me the right magnetron with the right orientation. But the diode was shot, for sure. That's why it wasn't heating. Mm. So, uh, when I bring it back, are you going to call them and tell them, look, it's the wrong orientation, or do you want me to do that? Uh, well, you take it back to them. We'll get the model number off this and just take it back and say, you know, this one here, the one, I, it's, it's the same magnetron, but the tabs are facing the wrong way. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, you could probably cut that base off and, and turn this thing mm -hmm. a quarter of a turn if you wanted. I mean, that's also an option. So what we had here is we had uh, the, the diode, was the stack diode was bad. Magnetron's weak, but uh, it's, the, it's working. And I say the new magnetron was the wrong one that was shipped. So we'll put the old magnetron back in, at least so the unit can be used until yeah. we get the right part. And well, the whole purpose this. about this was because the <laughs> magnetron was weak. Getting weak, yeah. my time to go through this whole process again. Parts store gets the right parts.